chip day. Okay, here we go. With Barbie's skillful serve, the Friendship Day Slow Mall Showdown has begun. <laughs> oh, and True returns it with a stunning spiral swoop. Excellent elevation. I got it. Wait for it. Keep waiting. I call this the Slow Mo Slow Ball Flip Flop Tail Chop. Hi! <laughs> Great moves, Bartleby. Oh, where'd it go? <gasps> okay, not a problem. I'll get the ball and stay completely dry while doing it. I, just, I... <sighs> Come on, ball! Come to Bartleby. <gasps> Sorry I grabbed your tail, B, but I thought it was an emergency. It was. I almost got wet. But you would never let that happen, would you, True? on Friendship Day. Griselda? Ta-da! We're here to brighten your Friendship Day. You brightened it all right. You got a dimmer switch on that thing? Now that everyone's here, I have something to show you. Come on! So, for Friendship Day, I made you all friendship bracelets. Presents? Thanks, True. That's so thoughtful of you. Cool! We're all matchy-matchy. No one told me we give presents on Friendship Day. I would have got you all really good presents. You don't have to. I just felt like making friendship bracelets for my friends. And there are lots of different ways you can show you care on Friendship Day. Like baking Nummelberry cookies to share. Want one? Oh, great. Now we're sharing, too. And friends look after each other, like, um, um, uh, when, when, when True saved me from getting wet. Here you go, Fruki. But I didn't make gifts or bake cookies or save anyone. I didn't do anything nice. When do I get to be nice? Well, we couldn't have Friendship Day without you. You were there for us when we needed you. Well, I am really good at showing up. Ow! Eee! A gravity grab! Get it off! <laughs> True, get it off me! Okay, hold still and I'll grab it. Yikes! Okay, give me a sec. There's gotta be a right way to remove a grippity grab. Uh, hurry! Yikes! It's a grippity grab snack attack! Save the snacks! Shoo, shoo, get off! <gasps> Fruki, look out! A grippity is after your pretty neckerchief! Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. Hey! The Grippities are taking all our fashion accessories. Since when do Grippity Grabs care about style? They don't, but they do like shiny things. In fact, legend has it, there's a giant Grippity Grab in the sea with a whole cave full of shiny treasure. So, if the Grippity Grabs like shiny things... Here, little Grippity, want this? Problem solved. Oh, you saved me, True. You saved me. And you gave up your bracelet to do it. You're such a great friend. It's no big deal. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm a great friend, too. Just you wait and see. I'm going to get your bracelet back. Stop! Come back with True's bracelet! Yeah, and my glasses! Yeah, Nummelberry cookies don't work so well as sunglasses. Mm, but it tastes great. You come back here, you little grippities. You are ruining Friendship Day. Being a good friend is harder than I thought. Oh. I'll just make True a new, even better friendship bracelet. Out of extra special, super sparkly seashells. Handpicked by me. <laughs> Patience, Frookykins. We'll play as soon as I'm done being thoughtful. Ta-da! All done. Isn't it irresistible? Of course it is. <laughs> hey! <gasps> you must be that giant grippity grap who collects shiny things. <laughs> Look, I totally get liking pretty things. But I'd like my bracelet back now, please. <laughs> hey! Give it back! <laughs> That's not a toy, you know. I made that for a friend. <gasps> oh? What? No, not you. A princess can't be friends with someone so shellfish. La 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 la. No fair. I can't swim that far. I'm not some fish, you know. 
Pearl. What did you just do? And why do my feet feel all floppy? <gasps> my perfect princess toes! How am I supposed to try on new shoes? I thought Griselda would be back by now. Let's go find her. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Just follow that bright light. Um, that's the sun, Bartleby. Oops. Um, hi, Mr. Sun. Happy Friendship Day. We should be able to follow Griselda's footprints in the sand. Good idea, Z. Let's go. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> this day is not going like I planned. Oops. Sorry, Fruki. I'm not used to having a floppy fish tail. Ha ha! La la la! Wait here, Fruki Kittens. I won't be long. I just have to catch Grippity, get my friendship bracelet, and make him turn me back into a whole princess so I don't have to spend the rest of my life in the sea. Bing, bing, boom. I'll be back soon. Toodles! <gasps> Look at that shine! It's Griselda! With the giant Grippity Crab! The legend is true! <laughs> Griselda has a fish tail! What happened, Fruki? Isn't it obvious what happened? Griselda would rather spend Friendship Day with a giant Grippity than with us. Don't worry, Fruki. We'll take care of you. <sighs> well, the things we do for our friends. Ugh. Griselda would never leave Fruki behind. Especially on Friendship Day. I think Griselda needs our help. We have to go and save her. Wait, what? Like, go in the water? Yes, but since we haven't been turned into fish, we'll need Wish help. Cue me, low. Come on, Fruki. You too. To the wishing tree, please. Happy Friendship Day to you, too, Wishes. But there's no time to chat. Our friend needs our help. Right. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, we think a giant grippity grab turned Griselda into a... An extra shiny fish girl. So I need a wish to undo the spell and turn Griselda back into herself. And since Griselda is under the sea, I need a wish that will allow me to travel underwater. It's Friendship Day. We should all go and help. <laughs> as long as I can stay completely dry. All right. I need a wish that will take us all underwater. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. What an inspiring combination of wishes! I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers! So this is Subba. Hi, Subba. Subba is an underwater wish. Subba gets big enough to fit all your friends inside and keep them dry. Oh, I like him. Best wish yet. That's perfect. Subba will help us all travel underwater to find Griselda. Boop, boop, boop. Your next wish is undo. Well, hello, undo. Undo! <laughs> this is a reversing wish. When it spins backwards over something, it undoes it. But undo can only be used once. If this wish can turn Griselda back into a two-legged princess, then undo only has to work once. And your last wish is shim shim. 
Shim Shim has helped us once before. It's a wish that's really good at wiggling. Hello again, Shim Shim. That <laughs> tickled. <laughs> I'm not sure how wiggling can help save Griselda, but I'll think of something. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Now let's go get our friend Griselda. How? How do fish swim with these floppy tails anyway? <clears throat> Excuse me, coming through. You can't get me. Double, double, double. You can't get away from me that easy, Grippity. Uh, oh. This fish tail is supremely annoying. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, thanks? So you're giving me the bracelet back? <sighs> I guess not. <laughs> Poor little Fruki. You miss Griselda, don't you? But don't worry. We'll find her under all that water. Won't we, True? You bet. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Subba! Wish come true! Hi, Subba! We need to go under the sea to find Griselda. Can you help us out? <laughs> Subba! All aboard! Okay, Subba, into the sea! Everybody keep an eye out for Griselda. She should be pretty easy to spot with that shiny tail. Oh, oh, I see it. I get behind that rock. Uh, that way, Subba. Boom, boom. Hmm, that's not her. It's a school of fish. All those fish are wearing the same tail as Griselda. She is not going to be happy with that. Hey, how are we going to spot Griselda if everything has a shiny tail? Don't worry, Fruki. Griselda is down here somewhere. We'll find her. But how? It's not as easy as following her tracks in the sand. Right. She can't leave footprints. If she doesn't have feet... Griselda may not be leaving tracks, but Giant Grippity is. Good thinking, True. Told you, Fruki. True will find Griselda in no time. Okay, Subba. Follow those tracks. La -la -dee, la -la -la. No fair! Mm. You know I can't walk out of the water into <gasps> this amazing cave. Your home is almost as nice as my palace. So many pretty, shiny things, <gasps> including me. I'm not a half fish. I'm an adorable, glamorous, unbelievably cute mermaid. <laughs> If only my friends could see me now! I miss them, you know. Especially my best friend, Fruki. And Z, and Bartleby, and True. She's the one I made the beautiful bracelet for. You know how it is with friends. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. oh. oh, maybe not. Huh? <gasps> Thank you! I have to give this to True for Friendship Day to show what an amazing friend I am. Shiny things. Wait a sec. Is this for me? <laughs> so you want to be friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. All that chasing and hiding was just playing? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, of course, a princess and a grippity can be friends. We have so much in common. Uh. 
We both love shiny things. Uh -huh. We both have beautifully decorated homes. <gasps> Next time, you can come to my house. I'll have my Grismos build us a water park, and we can decorate it together. Won't that be fun? Uh, 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 uh. After you turn me back into a princess, of course. Uh, uh. Oh, no! Where's your magic thingy? <gasps> the clam has it! Grippity, you have to get it out and change me back! <laughs> to cut yourself free? <laughs> if only my friend True were here, she'd know what to do. Hmm, maybe... True! Help! <gasps> Griselda? Help! That way, Saba! Saba! Zelda, and she really is a half fish. I'm not a half fish. I'm a whole mermaid. Thank you very much. Did the giant Grippity do this to you? Yes, but he can't turn me back. No problem. We'll undo his spell with my second witch. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, undo. wish can reverse what Grippity did to you. Really? So you can use your wish to undo what he did to himself? He was trying to help me and he got all tangled up. He was trying to help you? Like, a friend? Well, yes. He really is my friend. A princess and a Grippity can be friends, you know. Griselda, I can only use undo once. If undo frees Grippity, I don't have a wish to turn you back. Then, use the wish to free Grippity. What? We're friends now, and friends are always there for you when you need them, right? But what about you? Grippity is the one who really needs help. I'm fine. Um, Griselda, you may not have noticed, but you have a fish tail. It's a mermaid tail. And being a mermaid isn't so bad. But you have to live in water. Not a problem. I already have plans for a water park. And I could give Fruki swimming lessons. <laughs> she did not mean that. Griselda, are you sure? I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, Undo. Do your thing. Woo! Undo! Now back in the pack. I knew you could do it, True. Thanks, B. Griselda, that was very generous of you. Are you sure you'll be okay being a halffish? Uh, I mean, mermaid? Well, it was nice having a super sparkly tail, and I was starting to get the hang of swimming. <laughs> but I do love my fancy shoes and running around with my little fruky kins. <laughs> Sorry, Griselda. I don't think my last wish can turn you back into a princess. Oh! <laughs> What's Grippity doing now? What's going on there? Oh, Grippity's magic thingy is inside that clam. His trident? The same one he used to turn you into a mermaid? Of course. But that clam clammed up and won't give it back. I think we can fix that. Time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo. Shim Shim the Wiggle Wish? How will that help? Remember how Shim Shim tickled my arm in the wishing tree? I bet a little tickle can get that grumpy clam to loosen up. Um, I still don't get it. <laughs> See, you can't laugh with your mouth closed. Yeah. Oh my. So if the clam laughs, it'll open. Okay, Shim Shim, 
Way go away! Shim Shim makes the first move. The classic fast, slow, fast tickle. Oh, Clam blocks that move. There'll be no laughing today. Shim Shim is really upping her game. Clam is having a hard time ignoring the tickles. Shim Shim is tickling up, down, and all around and shows no sign of stopping. <laughs> oh, Clam can't take it in and... <laughs> Open, folks! The clam is open! Now it's all up to Grippy to finish this. Here it comes! You did it, Shim Shim! Great job! Now back in the pack. Shim Shim! It's all up to Grippity now. Thank you, Grippity. I knew you could do it. Good to have you back, Griselda. It's good to be back with all my friends. Now can we get back to celebrating Friendship Day up on the beach? I'm still a little nervous under the sea. Just a second, Grippity. For you, Grippity. You've earned it, my friend. <laughs> for the great ride, Saba. Now back in the pack. <laughs> what a great friendship day. We all really stuck together like good friends do. <laughs> okay, okay, stop it now. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we're friends, I know. Cut it out now. <laughs> I think the best thing is that Griselda started a new tradition for friendship day. I did? <laughs> Make a new friend. Yep, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so Griselda. Zip, zap, zoom! I got this! Back at ya! Yep. Bed. Got it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, <Really>? Bartleby. <laughs> Thanks, little helper. I got it. Oh, oops. Oh. Oh, and that's a ball off my head. Hi, Rainbow King! You have a race car! No way! Say hello to my Rainbow Racer! Hi, Hi Rainbow, Rainbow racer. racer! Why do you have a pumpkin racer? Once upon a moonbeam, my Rainbow Guard and I were a racing team. I still like to take it out for a spin to feel the wind in my cape. Uh, isn't that right, Rainbow Guard? Mm-hmm. And what fun it was doing a few laps around the kingdom. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Bee? That it's time for Fishy Poof Crackers and a cuddly lap nap? You can nap later. First, let's build our own racer. Oh, I like that idea even better. <laughs> let's go! Bye-bye! I can't wait to see what they build. We're gonna build, build, build our own speedy machine. It'll be cool, 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 watching glimmer and gleam. We'll feel the breeze, breeze, breeze blowing through our hair. Having fun, fun, fun without a single care. Driving, driving, we're all high-fiving, loud as thunder. It's no wonder it's full speed fun when we're with each other. Silver sparks. It's beautiful. You really like it? Oh, yes. Your car is so amazing. I'm announcing the Rainbow Kingdom's first Great Rainbow Rally. Yay! Oh, right. Yay! This is going to be fun. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Rainbow Rally. My crackers! Yay! <laughs> Let's raise a rainbow cheer for today's racers. Racer number four, the Yetis. <laughs> Racer number two, a Rainbow City bus. I'm a bus. Racer number five, mm -hmm. my rainbow mm -hmm. guard. Racer number three, the Forest Flower Kids. Racer number one, True and Bartleby. Racer number six. 
Princess Griselda. Yeah. Oh, hi, Griselda. Your car is so, well, Griselda-like. Thanks, True. My Grismobile is the finest luxury automobile around. It's built to be first, because there's no race without a winner. Well, I think the real winner is the one who has the most fun. It sure is, huh, Fuzzy Mice? Ooh, Fuzzy Mice, so fuzzy and fuzzy. Good luck, everybody! Mm -hmm. Happy mm -hmm. racing! Oh, thanks, True. Racers, starting here, you will zip, zap, zoom all across the kingdom, following these special green arrow signs. First car to zip, zap, zoom back here wins! <laughs> so buckle up, Rainbow Racers! Get ready to roll! It's Great Rainbow Rally Time! Go, go, go! We're supposed to follow the green arrow signs. These ones are red. Can't watch. Getting. Where did we last see a green arrow? That away. More of the green arrow signs point that way. So that way must be the right way. Hi, little helper. Could you spin that green arrow to point the right way for us? <laughs> Thanks. Great rainbow racers, follow us back to the race course. Huh? <laughs> Wonderful! Interesting. A few crystals broke off. If someone dries over them, they could pop a tire or wipe out. Well, there's always something in the road to look out for. Let's go, Fruki. Oh, watch it! Racing, racing, everybody chasing! Oh, 
Let's never do that again. Ah! Is everyone all right? Hi! You betcha. Hey, this is a bus stop. Well, it isn't mine either. No complaining on the bus. <gasps> and I've got a flat tire. True! What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, everyone. True knows. You do, right? Because I don't. I really, really do. I really, really do. We're gonna fix it. Hey, a little more height on those jumps, please. Hey, can we get back in this race, please? There. Good as new. Thanks, Drew. Happy to help. Now let's get back to the race. Was, um, that the only road out? Mm -hmm. Then we're trapped! Trapped! I've seen how this movie ends. Huh, I was gonna be the one who panics there, but she is nailing it. Do we need a wish now? Well, fixing a tire is one thing, but moving a giant heavy boulder? <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some wish help. Cumulo! <laughs> We'll be right back! To the wishing tree, please! Faster, you mule! Faster! You're just in time for the race. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> <laughs> so, how goes your race? Wait, if you're here and you're not racing, that means... We have a big problem, Z. A bunch of racers are stuck at the bottom of a canyon, and the only path leading out is blocked. By a boulder that went... Whomp! <laughs> Thunderbolts and lightning. Let's have a think about this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> we have a winner! <laughs> Come, let's sit and have a think about this. How do you think you can fix this problem? I need a wish that can help us get past the boulder so we can drive back up to the race course. <laughs> yeah, my fuzzy mice get antsy when we're not racing. <laughs> How big is this boulder? It's huge! So we're gonna need a wish to help us get it out of the way. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. What interesting wishes these are. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia tells us about their powers. Wish number one is Sizer. Uh -huh. It's a wish that can make anything bigger or smaller. <laughs> you could help us get around the boulder by shrinking it down for us. Uh -huh. What a good second wish. Roper Roo. You can use this wish to lasso things and move them. That's great. If one of the cars goes in a ditch, we can pull it out with Roper Roo. Yeah, yeah. And your last wish is Cubigly. <laughs> it wiggles, it wobbles, and it's very springy. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how this wish will help me get the racers going again. Hmm. But I'll think of some way to use it. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Ready to go, Bartleby? Almost. What? I really like fuzzy mice. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Good luck. I'll be racing. True. Did you think of a way to get us out of here? Did you? Did you? Don't worry. I did. Zip, zap, zip, I choose you! Wake up, Sizer! Wish come true! See that giant boulder blocking the way? We have to make it smaller. Great job, Sizer! The pathway's clear. Let's drive! Everyone stop! The pathway's not clear! Those crystals popped my tire! If we drive over them, our tires will pop too. There's way too many to shrink down. I know! Sizer, shrink us down, please! Uh -huh. Can't say I was expecting that. Come on, everybody! Let's drive! <laughs> Hang on! Woo! This is the good part! Oh, my! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Enjoy the ride! My soda! I'm a racing cat driver! I stop. No eating or drinking on the bus. Thanks, Sizer. I don't think this race can get any more fun. Are you sure? I was thinking you might want to turn driving. <gasps> You're the best, Drew! <laughs> I am. I really am. Now buckle up. So the pedal on the left is the gas, and the handlebar... <gasps> yeah! It's the Forest Flower Kids. Hello. Bye-bye. I'm way ahead of the other racers, and that's good. But they're getting closer, and that is bad. I need more speed to stay in the lead. Activate the Grismo Turbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're all here. Hmm? <gasps> Except for the bus. Oh? oh, don't worry about me, True. Just stuck in a cactus. Ah, I'm stuck in a cactus. Get me down. Get me down. Yetis, you're big and strong. Can you get the bus down? <laughs> Whoopsie! If Yetis can't get her down, what can? A super strong rope wish! rope let's get pulling! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, rope Wish come true! We need to make a lasso so you can help get the bus down. Can you do it? Yeah! Is this going to take all day? Uh, you can do it, Roparoo. I know you can. No! I'm feeling that squeeze. Careful. Uh, uh, no! uh, 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 Here we go! Ready to roll. 
<laughs> Great job, Roperu. Yes, a big thank you from me. And me. Hands on the bus! Time to go back in the pack. <laughs> All right, everyone. We have a race to finish! Faster, Grismos! Fast, fast, faster! <laughs> Help us. I can have Q Bigly cover Griselda's car and roll it away from the cliff. What if it falls? Well, it'll be surrounded by jelly and have a nice cushy landing. <laughs> Are you sure this will work, True? Because I'm very delicate. Yeah, delicate. Like a Yeti's toenail delicate. Q Bigly, we need a lot of jiggle. I choose you! Oh. Wake up, Chew Bigly! Oh. Wish come true! <laughs> okay, Chew Bigly, I need you to jiggle Griselda to safety. Oh. Ready? Here we go! Oh. Oh. Griselda! Griselda! Fly down as fast as you can and cover the Grismobile! Oh, hey. oh. Way to go, Q-Bigly! Great job! <laughs> Thanks, Q-Bigly! Yeah, thanks. Are you okay, Griselda? Yes, thank you, True. But I still have a race to win. See you at the finish line! Come on, everyone! Back in the race! There's a car in front of us! And the first racer across the finish line is... Forest Flower Kids! <laughs> Done! This is still not my star. Just get out. Can you believe I didn't win? Did you at least have fun? Yes, I guess I did. So winning isn't everything. Huh, who knew? Congratulations to all our races! We had a blast, Rainbow King. Splendid! Now to celebrate with some royal nibbles and sips. Nibbles and sips? Mm -hmm. Everybody wins with those. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>
Okay, are you ready for an amazing birthday? Of course. Wait, I still have so much to do for the party tonight. No, you don't. Cuz, I planned your whole party. Really? Yep, it's my gift to you. I'm gonna make sure you have the most amazing birthday ever. You won't have to do a single thing today, True. Aw, oh, B, you're the best. I know, but we've got some serious birthdaying to do. Let's get going. It's my birthday. My best friend's birthday. Ready for a treat? I made something extra special. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's you! Yeah! I call them Bartle Biscuits. I got the idea from the mirror. <laughs> hmm. Which part should I eat first? My ears, of course. Good choice. Hey, this kind of tastes like Stranilla. <gasps> Are we having Stranilla cake at my party? You'll have to wait and see. With wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as your best friend, I of course knew you'd want all those different flavors together. It's definitely not just a basic mellow berry cake. Uh huh, B. You know me so well. Can I borrow your face bubble thingy for a non-birthday emergency? Sure. Here, have another Bartle biscuit. Try eating it as loud as you can. Uh, loud enough? Griselda, answer my face bubble. Griselda, we have a birthday emergency. <gasps> you ran out of glitter balloons? No, we need to change the mellow berry cake into a straw nilly wiggly jiggly jelly bubble chew icing cake. Oh, that's no problem. Baking isn't hard. All you need is a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, uh. But you don't have a recipe. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. Right, Grismos? Uh, okay, but don't forget the cake is the most important part of our party. Obvi. That's why I'm in charge of it. Okay, Grismos, you heard Bartleby. Mellow Berry's out, and Stranella Wiggly Jiggly Jelly Bubble Chew Icing is in. Where's my super fast ever rise powder? Let's add more. More is better. <laughs> Everything good with the decorations? Okay, great. Talk to you soon. Aww. All aboard the Mushroom Town Birthday Express. Hey, yeah! Everyone's on their way? You bet. Right on schedule. Great! Hey, Bingo Bango! You know the way, right? You turn left at the never ending forest? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'll take that as a yes. Who's ready for ice cream lunch? Ice cream for lunch? We can do that? Sure, it's your birthday. Let's put the scream in ice cream birthday lunch. Perfect. Ready to bake. Uh, uh. Ugh, what are you Grismos doing? Step aside. This needs a princess's delicate touch. <laughs> Baking would be hard if I wasn't so good at it. Okay, Bartleby. I think that's enough. Just one last thing to top it off. A fishy poof cracker. Whoa. Whoa. No. my party. Ah, uh, you weren't gonna wear that anyway. Cuz we're gonna get you a new outfit! Really? But only after you finish all your ice cream. Challenge accepted. No, 
no, no, no, no. This simply won't do. We need to make it pop. Because all together, more, more is better. better. Nothing's going to stop this express bus to True's birthday party. Except for this delicious goo. Hey, what's the hold up? I gotta get to True's party. Pardon me, I have a party to attend. Can you please move it along? Yeah, well, what's going on? Okay, this is perfect. Ready to see my new birthday suit? Is it as cute as mine? <laughs> In that fabulous outfit, you are going to rock this party. What's that? I don't know, but we better go check it out. What's going on? A traffic jam? Drew's party bus. Oh, hello, Rainbow City bus. Shouldn't you be on your way to someplace very important? Mayhaps. Well, I should, but as you can see... <laughs> I'm stuck in this delicious goo. It does smell yummy. It is yummy. And it tastes a lot like bubble chew icing. Griselda! Oh. Well, that's wiggly and jiggly enough for a regular cake eater. But this cake needs to be princess level wiggly jiggly. More is better. Hey, Griselda, do you know anything about some bubble chew icing traffic jam? Bartleby, I'm in the middle of making the most important cake of my career. I need my space. I'll talk to you later. But, but... Toodles! <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah! Uh. 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 Critters are fine. You don't really need to do any hero stuff today, do you? I don't know, B, but let's go and check it out anyway. What happened? Is everything okay? These trees are blocking your path? Hmm. Well, maybe the three of us can move it. Ah, true. Can it wait? We still have that ooey-gooey traffic jam to clean up. If we don't help, no one will be able to come through the forest. <laughs> bingo, bingo. Party decorations. We need to move this tree right now. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> this isn't working. Time for some wish help. To the wishing tree. Happy birthday, True. I, uh, wasn't expecting to see you until your party. The party will have to wait, Z. There was some kind of earthquake. Yeah, we felt it up here, too. It knocked over trees in the never-ending forest, and no one could get around. And there's a sticky situation in Rainbow City. A sticky, gooey situation. And it's causing a huge traffic jam. Oh, that does sound serious. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first we need to get the trees back upright in the never-ending forest. Yeah, and let's not forget, they're super heavy. Then, we have to get the gooey glob off the Rainbow City streets. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wish 
You see what the Wishipedia says about these. First up is Lifto. Lifto! This wish is incredibly strong. It can lift anything you place on top of it. Just give it a spin. Wow! Lifto, you can help us get all the trees standing again. Lifto! And next we have. This wish can blow air into anything, like a flat tire. Or a balloon bouquet. Bumpa. Or a giant gooey glob like the one causing the traffic jam. Maybe Pumpa can blow it into a bubble and float it away. Pumpa. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Meet Kakaraka, one of the most powerful wishes of all. Kakaraka! Kakaraka is a bursting wish that can help break large things into smaller pieces. Wow! I'm not sure how I can use Kakaraka just yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Bye, Z. Good luck, you two. We're back. Thanks for waiting. Let's see if we can move these trees off the road for you. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I tune you. Wake up, Lifto. Wish come true. Hey-ho, Lifto. Hey-ho. See all those fallen trees? Hey-ho. We need you to lift them back up again. Which will clear the path and allow everyone to get where they need to go. <laughs> oh, I'm just excited about getting people moving again. Go Lifto! <laughs> Come on back down, Lifto. <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of this path Clear. <laughs> Thanks, Lifto. Now back in the pack. <laughs> Come on, Bee. We've got to get back to Rainbow City to deal with that gooey, globby mess. Oh, what is more important than taking care of my beautiful skin? Uh-oh. Hi, everyone. True. Thank goodness. I don't think I can eat any more of this delicious goo. Okay. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pumpa! Wish come true! Hi, Pumpa! Pumpa! That giant glob has really gooed up our friends. Ready to help clean it up? Pumpa! Great! I bet we can blow a huge bubble out of that goo. Pumpa power, go! That really blew me away. Now back in the back. Thanks, Drew. See you later. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't need to do any of that hero stuff today, but you took care of that pretty easily. I did, didn't I? Hey, Griselda. Ugh. True. I 
wish you the most happy birthday. Ah! Aw, thanks, Griselda. May I please talk to Bartleby about nothing to do with cakes? Sure thing. <laughs> okay, what is it, Griselda? Bartleby, this cake is not doing what I told it to do. Stay! No! Bad cake! The words bad and cake are not something I want to hear. What's going on? Well, it turns out more is not always better. The Stronilla cake layer is a bit bigger than I expected. Like, oops, it's so big we're gonna be eating cake for a week. More like, oops, it's too big for the oven. And the kitchen? And maybe the house? Ah, come quick, I'm not sure I can hold this much longer. What was that? That is... Super huge birthday cake? Super huge, totally on purpose birthday cake. B, you shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that'll be for me. Bartleby, the strangest thing just happened. I'm suspended in this scrumptious Stranilla sponge cake. I've been stuck in a traffic jam before, but never a traffic jelly. This cake is going straight to Fergie's obedience school. I can't Hi, True. Hmm. There might be a small problem with the party. Oh, you mean that giant birthday cake that fell over on Mushroom Town and has all our birthday guests stuck inside the delicious ooey gooey icing? Uh huh. That wasn't part of my plan. True, I hate to ruin your day, but I think I really need your help now. It's okay, Bee. Helping people is my favorite thing to do. Oh, cute! Hi, Cumulo. We've got a cake problem. To the Mushroom Town. This cake is huge. And it looks delicious, too. Should we just eat our way through? Because I'd be okay with that. Well, as yummy as that sounds, it might take too long. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, cat! Wish come true! Hi, Kakaraka! We have a giant cake problem. We need your help. Kakaraka! Ready, Kakaraka? Kakaraka! We're rooting for you, Kakaraka! Kakaraka! Okay, now wait for my signal. On my count. Three, two, one. wanted it to, and besides, you don't even have a cake! Bartleby, I had the most incredible day! Mostly because I got to spend it with you. I love the picnic and the ice cream lunch, and I love my outfit! Everything you did today came from your heart, and that made this the best birthday ever! Huh? What? I don't think anyone's had a birthday party like this before. Kakaraka! Way to go, Kakaraka! Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, True! true. Best, Best party, party ever! This party is amazing! Thanks, everyone! This is even better than the best birthday party ever, and it's all thanks to Bartleby. Great, Great job, Bartleby! Bartleby. Ah, shucks. Thanks, True. You deserve it. True? Hey, where'd she go? 
And now for your birthday entertainment. Whoa. May I please present to you our great guest of honor. Yay. So put your hand and or paws together for the Rainbow Kingdom's favorite birthday girl and friend. It's true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. And we're dropping this birthday before you. Opponent, Master Pillow. We will meet again. Who's ready for a yummy surprise? Kitty Natty Ninja Cats are always ready for surprises. Ta da! Oh. Popped Peppy Peppers? That's like my fourth favorite snack. After, of course, Fishy Poof Crackers, Fishy Poof Crackers with Zesty Cheese, and Limited Edition Extra Light Poof Fishy Poof Crackers. Hold it. Popped Peppy Peppers? Check. Suzuni juice balls? Check. Bendy straws? Uncheck? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. And check. There. Everything's ready for the sleepover. Okay, back to snacking. Oh, bendy straws! I feel like a princess. <laughs> you never know when a real princess might show up. I'm here! Griselda! <laughs> it wouldn't be a party without you. I know. Where's Fruki? Fruki Kids is right here. <laughs> Care for an ice-cold Zazuni juice? Yes, please. But would you happen to have a bendy straw? So thoughtful of you, True. Hello, party people. So far, so good. Everything's going just as planned. Now we're just waiting on the Rainbow King. That must be him now. Welcome, Rainbow King. Huh? Your Majesty? Well, uh, oh. <laughs> a lovely lavender evening to you, True and Bartleby. I'm so excited about your sleepover. I was just making sure I didn't forget anything important. Like my blankie, or my pillow, or, uh, hmm. Oh, and, uh, hey, if you need a toothbrush, I got lots. Oh, there's my tail cleaning brush. I was looking for that. Works like a charm. And I found my gum. Bubble chew. Mm. You want some? Ew! No thanks. No, it's not a toothbrush. I've got one of those. Oh, what could it be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've got everything you could possibly need. Purple persimmons! True, your particular predisposition to planning is perfection personified. What he said! Thank you, Rainbow King. Please, come in! Rainbow King, welcome! Good to see you! <laughs> Well, that's it. Everybody's here. Check. Next up, party time! our very last party plan. Aww. Aww. A delicious Nummelberry pancake breakfast in the morning! Yay! All right, everybody. Let's get ready for bed. Good night, 
Very true. 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 Indigo injustices. I just remember what I forgot to remember. My Moo Moo. I always have my Moo Moo with me at bedtime. Moo Moo? That's not on my list. Can you sleep without it? Well, it has helped me sleep every night for the last three or four hundred million years. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll just count little helpers until I fall asleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, Six million four hundred and six. Wait, I skipped one. I'll start over. One, two. Rainbow King, do you want me to get your moo moo for you? It's no problem. Goodness, greenness, no. We'd have to go all the way to the royal greenhouse for my moo moo. That is pretty far to go. Uh, not to worry, True. I'll fall asleep soon. Okay. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Rainbow King. Good night, True. Oh, blue bother. I mustn't keep everyone awake. I really don't like using sleeping spells. I, I, I can't remember why, uh, but maybe just this once. Starry Blue, help me snooze. <sighs> I'm feeling snoozy already. <laughs> oh. Lovely summer rain, so refreshing. Bartleby, you're talking in your sleep again. So are you. <sighs> Fruki, you're flying! Huh? What? <gasps> True! Look out! <sighs> What's going on? <gasps> Fruki kittens? Fruki! Oh, Fruki welcome! Come down! Gotcha! It's okay, Fruki Snuggles. You're safe with me now. Yes, you are. I definitely didn't plan for this. They're sleep floating. Fascinating. I've read about it. I never thought I'd see it in person. We should pull them down. No! Don't touch him. If you do... You'll sleep float, too. Can we wake them up? Guess not. <laughs> well, we can't just let them float around bumping into things. We need some rope. Or string. Or a butterfly net. Or string. Or a super long straw. Mm. Or, or string. string. Good work, little helpers. Wait, where's the Rainbow King? He's there, going out the window. Moo Moo. Rainbow wake King, up, please wake, wake up! Majesty. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! We need to catch up to him and wake him up. Oh, Cumulo! <sighs> Sorry to wake you, Cumulo, but we've got to go save the Rainbow King. Oh, wait. I forgot to get changed. Um, do we need to get changed, too? Nope. Keep your PJs on. <laughs> We're still having a sleepover. I've just got to be ready for action. Good idea. Can you two take Griselda and Fruki back inside? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. Yeah, but Z, everyone in Rainbow City will sleep float right out of town. 
We need some wish help. And quick. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Lee? Where are you? I need your help. Uh, True, I'm right behind you. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. We need something bright to find Rainbow King and something to get the citizens down. Something sticky. This is sticky. Um, no thanks. And we need something loud to wake everyone up. If he wakes up too suddenly, maybe everyone will fall down. Right. I didn't think of that. So, uh, pillows. But everyone's still floating, so we do need something sticky. Tape? Glue. No. Hair gel. Ugh. Z. We need wishes. You're right. We do need wishes. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we don't know what will happen if we wake up the Rainbow King suddenly. The other sleep floaters might wake up too. And then fall down. So we'll have to bring everyone down safely first. Good thinking, True. And when everyone is down safely, we'll gently wake up the king and he can break the spell. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Snuggly. Wishing tree. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Snuggly. Snuggly. Snuggly's a blanket wish that can go big enough for lots of people to take a nap on. And if you sing a lullaby, it'll act like a magnet to anyone who's asleep. You'll be perfect for gathering everyone and keeping them safe and sound. <laughs> Your next wish is Woe Glow. Woe Glow is a light wish. You are exactly what we need on a dark night. <laughs> and for your last wish, Poingy, the bouncing wish. Poingy, Poingy. Poingy is great at bouncing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat thing. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> or you can jump onto it to bounce extra high. I'm not sure how a bouncing wish can help. But I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We've got to go save the Rainbow King. <laughs> Thank you, Wishing Tree. Oh, whoa! Watch out, Cumulo! Maybe it's just me, but this is way too many sleep floaters. I agree. It's going to be very hard to find the Rainbow King in this mess. I have an idea. Take us down to the park, please, Cumulo. <laughs> Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snuggly. Wish come true. Ready, Snuggly? Snuggly. Z, you said singing a lullaby makes Snuggly a magnet for anyone who's asleep, right? That's right. Well, let's get humming. Na na na, na na na, na 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 here comes the Rainbow King! 
<sighs> Uh-oh! Rainbow King put Snuggly to sleep! Snuggly's losing its power! <sighs> oh, no. Rainbow King! You need to do something, or he'll float away with everyone! That would not be good. I can barely see him now. Huh? Who could be calling at this hour? <gasps> Rainbow King! Momo. He must have pocket bubbled me. Wake up, Rainbow King! Wake up, please! It's no use. Oh, Rainbow King, if only you could tell us what's wrong. Oh, Momo. Even just a clue. Momo. Two word phrase. You know, that points us in the right direction. Momo. Yeah, like that. Momo. That's what's wrong. Rainbow King always has his Moo Moo at bedtime, and he can't settle down without it. That's why he's sleep floating. We've been doing it all wrong. Instead of waking him up, we need to help him have a good night's sleep. Of course. More sleep is the answer to our sleep problem. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. All we have to do is get Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Cumula! Come on, Bartleby. What? Why don't somebody... Go, go, Cumulo! To the Rainbow Castle! Okay, on a scale of one to dark, this is dark. How are we going to find our way? I mean, I don't have that cat's can see in the dark thing. It's always been a great disappointment to me. I remember my mother once... Bartleby? She... Oh, sorry. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woglo! <laughs> wish come true! You're up, Woglo! <laughs> Rainbow King said his moo-moos in the royal greenhouse. This way. Here's the greenhouse. Hmm. Maybe the Moo Moo is some kind of plant. But there's got to be millions of them. How are we going to know which one is which? Fortunately, every plant is clearly labeled. All right. Let's go look for the Moo Moo plant. Okay, Moo Moo plant, uh, Moo Moo plant. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not this one. <laughs> ah! True! Wait for me! Not this one. It's not this one either. Or this one. <laughs> Maybe it's that viney one over there. Nope, not over here. Where is it? Hmm. Ah! Guys, look! Is that the Rainbow King? He's floating way too far. We need to find that Moo Moo fast. Oh, we've just looked everywhere, and there's nothing. Nothing but this giant flower pot. <gasps> This must be it! True! Shine the light over here! It's the Moo Moo plant! The fruit of the Moo Moo plant gives off a soft glow and a gentle hum. That is helpful for sleeping. So, where's the fruit? Way up there! Now I understand why the wishing tree gave me Poindy! Here, Z, can you hold Woglo? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Poingy! Wish come true! Okay, Poingy, let's bounce. Poingy! Ready? Let's bounce, bounce, bounce! Go, Poingy, go! Higher, Drew, higher! It's just out of reach! <sighs> How are we gonna get it, Drew? I've got an idea. Bartleby, I need some kitty natty help. I see where you're going with this, True. Let's try this again, Poingy. <laughs> Ready, set. Okay, Bartleby, it's ninja time! Oh, oh, wait! I'm a cat. Bartleby. I'm very proud of myself. Thanks for your help, Poingy. You too, Woglo. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Okay, let's bring the Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Come on, 
on, Cumulo. There he is! This will be tricky. If Rainbow King touches me and makes me sleep float, it's up to you two to save the Rainbow Kingdom. Ha! <laughs> no pressure! Rainbow King! I have your moon. <sighs> the Rainbow King isn't sleep floating anymore. His Mooma must have broken the spell. <gasps> and look! It's working! All the sleep floaters are floating back home to their beds. Snuggly, you were super helpful. Mm. Tuck yourself back in the pack now. <sighs> Let's go home. I'm sleepy. Sleepy? But we're just getting started. We just saved this whole town. Let's celebrate! <laughs> Phew, what a night. My sleepover didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, but you saved the kingdom, True. You're my hero. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have Nummelberry pancakes to enjoy in the morning. You're right. This was a pretty good sleepover after all. We made them just for you. Thanks for saving everyone in Rainbow City. And you, you remembered how much I love bendy straws. Oh, thank you, True, for bringing my Moo Moo. Aw, thanks, everyone. Mmm, 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 that is so good. Bartleby, you've got to try some. Mmm, <laughs> best. Pancakes <laughs> ever. Mm, so delicious. Mm. Woo woo, Sky Bluffs! Z, a little early to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky blobs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woy, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps us cool, you know? <laughs> Biggie Sam Blubs, Biggie Blubs, Sky Biggies, this, this thing! <laughs> <laughs> they even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! 
and you blobs have a safe migration north. You know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True, the sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it, because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the sky blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Ocumulo! Hi. Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky blobs, please. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blobs. I don't think it's working. What did he say to them? What did you say to them? I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me.
fantastic wishes. Let's see what the Wishipedia says about them. Your first wish is, ah, Tizway. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great. Tizway can help get the sky blubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar, how sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, Bee. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh no! Look how far they've flown already. They're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. Poor baby Sky Blub. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. True! <laughs> Hi, Side By. We need the Sky Blubs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew! <gasps> side By? No, wait, Side By! I want them to follow me, not Bartleby! What's happening? I'm tingly all over! <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. Oh, no. Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby, they're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Mm -hmm. Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, <laughs> tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Side By's wish power wears off, you are there, Mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? Get oh! Giddy down! Bartleby! <laughs> hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta. Listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Whoa, whoa. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural! Now let's lead them home! Right, home! Um, Sky Blobs? Whoa, whoa. Turn around, please! The chilly north is that away? Gotta listen to your mother, me. Come on, little blobbies. We're leaving the steamy self behind. Nice 
work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's yeah, all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? <laughs> what? We're stopping. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, we're going to Happy Farming Valley, <laughs> whether we like it or not. <laughs> oh, boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get <laughs> squished. Oh, no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, clouds. Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? No! Hey! So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time! Yes, it is, and I like their style. Oh, <laughs> B. You like tangy tum-tums? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named... Mama? Whoa. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in? Fall in? It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Get your tangy tom tom from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> Maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Maybe. Izzy, we're having trouble feeding the sky blubs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay, Bee? So much blubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum-tums to fill those big blobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! Baby feeding Mama B. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact. Sky blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little blob, let's get you and your family home. Chili North, here we come. Uh-oh. Oh, oh well, what now? Are you thirsty? Itchy? Need a belly rub? What? What? She's just saying thank you, Mama. Oh, wow, you're welcome. Oh, Bartleby, <laughs> we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover your ears! Plug them good, darlings! <sighs> it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, <gasps> that means... Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns. Woo! 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 Lanterns scary! Lanterns very bad! Oh, oh no! Oh, sky blobs! Now the lanterns are scaring the blobs! Stay away from my babies! Lanterns away from my children! Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that. When they land or hit something, they pop <laughs> with the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. <laughs> We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. 
Zip, zap, zoo, I choose Hi. you! Bring up, D-flat! Wish come true! <laughs> Get behind me, everyone! Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns! <laughs> it's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. <laughs> Skyblobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo. Great job, D Fleck. Ah. Nothing to worry about here, Skyblubs. Whew! Now back in the pack. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Skyblubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those storm clouds? No! Nah, my babies do not like those! But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Tizway! Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. Yeah, that's a little too mellow. We have to hurry, Bee. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flapping music oh. coming right up. Sky Blubs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blub and all the rest. Sound off. Glove call. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo 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 wee woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. Woo woo. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blubs get home. Can you tum tum any blub? <laughs> <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, Sideby's wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, Sideby's wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep. Just like I do, Bartleby. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Queens of the day and night. Ooh, I'm so excited to meet the day queen and the night queen. 
making the sun rise each day and the moon rise each night is such an amazing, incredible, wonderful, amazing... Did I already say amazing, important job? It's amazing, all right. Sun comes up and I'm wide awake. Moon comes up and I'm... The castle looks golden gorgeous. Oh, thank you for your help, True and Bartleby. You're welcome, welcome Rainbow, Rainbow King. King. And your timing couldn't be better. Here comes the Day Queen now. True? You okay? True? True? Warmest greetings, Rainbow King. And you must be True and Bartleby. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You know me? She knows me! It's delightful to see you again, Your Majesty. And your sister, the Night Queen, should be here any minute. Rainbow King, why do the queens only visit at sunrise and sunset? The Day Queen's power comes from her brightness, Bartleby. It fades at night, so if she's away from sunshine too long, she won't have the energy to lift the sun each day. Just as the Night Queen must stay in darkness to lift the moon. So my sister and I can only be together at dawn and dusk. Oh, it's so sad. I get to see my best friend all the time. Aww. Oh, and speaking of, here comes... The Night Queen! Night Queen! How glorious that you're here! Day Queen! Seeing you is always the best part of my <laughs> evening. Thank you for inviting me, Rainbow King. You're welcome. Ah, you must be true. And Bartleby, I've heard so much about you. You've heard of me too? I... Wow. Oh, and here we go again. Night Queen, it's midnight marvelous to have you visit. And what a beautiful moonrise you've made. Though the Day Queen's sunset is marvelous as well. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Nothing beats a perfect sunset. Oh, dear sister, surely you must agree the moonrise is more spectacular. I'm afraid I must disagree with you, sister. A sunset is the most beautiful. What do you think, True? Yes. Which one do you think is best? I, um, well, they're both great. <laughs> if only that were so. But clearly, my time is the best. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. A soft cool breeze and the moon a glow. Daytime simply can't compare. Compared to night, it's just so so. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing in calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is the best Night time. time. is the best the time. The blue sky. The night star. The sun. The moon. Oh, my. This is perfect. <laughs> Crazy sky is perfect? Don't you see? We can finally be together all the time. I just have to stay on my side. Well, I stay on my side. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Everyone, please excuse us. I must finally convince my sister that daytime is the best time. I'm afraid that's impossible because nighttime is the best time. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is most unusual. Most unusual indeed. Maybe it'll be fine. Daytime and nighttime? At the same time? More like crazy time. A little, but it's okay, I think. Please, please go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe that worked. So tired. Oh, oh yeah! Not a 
could stab us now! See, you get the energy from the sun or nice, calming moonlight whenever you... <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like one of the buses fell asleep on the night side, and the ones on the day side can't pass. What? <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Excuse me, bus. It's time to wake up. Tickle, tickle. Come on. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, B. Excuse me, bus, but could you please pull over so the other buses can get by? Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Mosser. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Whoa! <laughs> Mosser, what's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine. They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry, where have you been all my life? But now there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> All that plump, delicious juiciness, gone. Okay, maybe this half day, half night thing isn't working out. We can't leave the sky like this. Let's go explain the problem to the queens. They'll understand. Right? I still can't believe they're here! Yay! Be strong, True. Good day, True. Good night. I was just telling Day how lovely the night stars are. But they can't compare with the shimmering sun. Isn't that right? <coughs> True. Right. Thanks, B. Your Majesties, both day and night are amazing and everything. But could you please put the sky back the way it was? Please? Oh, True. But that would mean I couldn't be with my sister. Huh? The sun and the moon will stay where they are until we decide to change them. Which we won't. Ever. Uh, well, well, what now, True? I think we're gonna need some help. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! Ah, ah, oh, oh, True, Bartleby. Look at the wishes. Half of them just fell asleep, and the other half are full of energy. I don't know what's wrong. That's why we're here, Z. The Day Queen and the Night Queen stuck the sun and moon together. Now it's daytime and nighttime all the time. Most unusual. And I need some wish help to get the sky back to normal. Whoa, that is a problem. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishing tree help? Well, I need a wish that can make the night side brighter and the day side darker. But even better would be a wish that can unstick the sun and moon completely. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me.
fantastic wishes true. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Flecto. Now, this is a wish you can really reflect on. <laughs> I don't get it. Moving on. Flecto is a mural wish that can show your reflection. It can also bounce light in any direction. Wow! Wow! Hello, handsome. <laughs> that means Flecto could bounce sunshine from the day side of the kingdom onto the night side to make it more like daytime there. That will really brighten things up. Your second wish is Zeplo. It's a blimp wish. Zeplo can take in a lot of air and fly way up in the sky. Big and floaty wish. Hmm. Maybe I could use Zeplo to pull the sun and moon apart. Your third wish is Shumpi. It's a protection wish. It opens like an umbrella, but can bathe you in sunlight while it's stormy and dark around you. Or cover you in deep shade if you want out of the sun. Hmm. I'm not sure how that wish can help me unstick the sun and moon. Uh -huh. But I'll think of something. You always do, True. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> okay, bye, Z. Good luck, True and Bartleby. Okay, Bartleby, let's shed some light on Rainbow City. Flecto, it's time to reflect. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Oh, Wiggle Flecto, wish come true. Hi, Flecto. Are you ready to bounce some sunbeams? Great. Let's go. <laughs> It's working, but our beam isn't big enough. Flecto, can you get bigger so I can bounce more light down to the night side? Uh-huh. <laughs> Morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it was good while it lasted. All right, uh -huh. back to work. Oh, that's it? We covered all of Rainbow City. Great work, Flecto. <laughs> You true, but neither will I. Oh, oh no! Phew! Thanks, Flecto. Z. True. I have bad news. Huh? I've made a model of the sun and the moon, and by my calculations, if they're not separated soon, they'll smush together into one big samoon with no sunlight or moonlight at all. <gasps> we have to fix this. It's time to see if Zeplo can separate the sun and the moon. No, oh, I hope it works, True. Good luck! This time, we're gonna do it. <sighs> hey, we're falling. Wait, wait. Probably just a dream. <sighs> it's not a dream, Bartleby! Cumulo fell asleep. Wake up, Cumulo! We have to steer Cumulo to the day side, so he wakes up. Lean with me, Bee. Lean! No! Phew! Good work, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on! Time for some wish power! Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Zeplo. The sun and moon are stuck together. Can you help me fix it? Great. I'm going to guide you between them. Then you get really big and push them apart. Okay? Okay, Zeplo. Ready? Now, push! <gasps> Is it working?
working? I only see Wish Tummy. <laughs> it's a nice tummy. Let's give Zeppo a helping push. <laughs> oh no! Thanks for trying, but the sun and moon are just too big to be pushed apart. You should get some rest. True. How goes the wish work? Have you separated the sun and the moon? Not yet. Whatever you're trying next, True, we have to hurry or... Sun, moon! There's only one thing we can do now. We have to get the queens to help us. Didn't we already try that? We did. <sighs> but we have to try harder. Thanks, Z! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me. I know you love being together, and I love having you both together. But we have to fix the sky, your highnesses. What's the problem? Yes, we're having a wonderful time. But it's affecting the rest of the kingdom. <sighs> if you only could see both sides, you'd know. But I can't possibly travel to the night side. I'll lose my glow. And I certainly can't travel to the day side. I'll lose my darkness. Lose your glow. Lose your darkness. <gasps> I have a wish that can stop both those things from happening. I'll use Shumpy the protection wish to guard you from each other's time of day. Then I can take both of you anywhere in the kingdom to see what's going on. Well, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> You've both said your time of day is the best. But how will you know for sure unless you see both sides for yourselves? Huh. Well, when you put it that way, how could we say no? Great. Come on out, Shumpy. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Shumpy. <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Shumpy. We need to get over to the day side of the kingdom. Can you protect the Night Queen for me? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, my! Fantastic! Cumulo! Huh? Huh? Hi, Cumulo! First stop is Happy Farming Valley. <laughs> My word, is it always so dry here? No. Happy Farming Valley is usually green and lush, but, oh, my glorious sunlight is drying it out. You always tell me how people are so happy during the day. No! But I don't see that, sister. Neither do I. It's terrible. Look, B, they're seeing the problem for themselves now. So right. You're doing great, Shumpy! Now can you protect the Day Queen and go to the night side? <laughs> How marvelous! Sunshine at night! Would you look at that? What's everyone doing on the ground? Are they sick? Oh no, they're just sleeping. But they should be doing that at home. In their beds. Sister? You always tell me how quiet and magical and enchanting the nighttime is. But uh, I don't see any of that here. Neither do I. It's not right. It's working, True. Oh, don't fall asleep on me. Huh? Uh, right. Cumulo, back to the day side, please. Thanks, Cumulo. And thank you, Shumpy. <laughs> we see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong! Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We 
run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon and the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great time. Daytime is a great time. The blue sky. The sun! The moon! They're both the best time! I like us both being the best. Me too. True! You did it! What is that? It's a face bubble. You've never used one before? No. no. I think we found another way for you to see each other more. Here we go. Your Majesties, no matter where you are, you can talk to each other by face bubble. Oh, now I'll be able to see you in the nighttime. Oh, and I'll be able to see you in the daytime. Hugs. Oh. <laughs> this is the greatest day and night ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you soon. Bye. <laughs>